Welcome to this online presentation entitled ARIS Model Execution – The Key to IT Productivity and Improving Business Performance. In this presentation, we're going to review the latest technical achievements of the partnership between Ideas Share and E2E in the areas of process to application and process performance management. It includes a short demonstration about the interaction between ARIS and the E2E bridge. We will also look at two cases which use the combination of both products. My name is Chris Henn and I'm in charge of business development and marketing at E2E. E2E is a global software vendor delivering the first platform for direct model execution and model-driven integration, primarily for SOA enablement and application modernization. Our platform is called E2E Bridge. It completely eliminates the need for traditional programming because E2E provides a runtime container which can directly execute UML, BPMN and EPC models. We use model execution at all levels, including for long-running processes, service orchestration, event handling, business logic and back-end integration. So from an infrastructure perspective, the E2E bridge works as a process engine, an enterprise service bus and an application runtime combined in one. This has three major benefits. One, with direct model execution, the documentation is the code. Second, end-to-end -end use of models eliminates the communication gap between business and IT. And third, the runtime infrastructure is substantially simplified. Given IdeaShare's leadership in business process modeling and the possibilities provided by E2E to use models directly for execution, we started a close technical collaboration around the vision of providing an end-to-end -end methodology from process to application called P2A. This vision has now become a reality and is promoted under the name of ARIS Bridge Integration. Today, ARIS and the E2E Bridge are fully interoperable and first customer projects have been completed very successfully. The technical and methodological innovations represent a significant industry breakthrough and have earned E2E the prestigious Business Process Excellence Award in 2008. But rather than talking about it, let me show you with a simple example what it means to go directly from process to application. We start our example with a simple credit approval process that has been modeled as an EPC. The process goes through a number of steps to create the credit request and perform a number of automated checks regarding eligibility and credit worthiness. Once all these are met, a business rule is applied to decide if there needs to be management approval, which is performed as a human intervention. In other words, we're looking here at a stateful process that demonstrates process automation, business rules, as well as human interaction. The EPC is exported from ARIS as an XML file and then imported by the E2E Bridge development environment, which is an off-the-shelf UML tool enriched with execution-relevant plugins. The E2E Bridge importer performs a transformation on the EPC, which results in an executable UML state chart. This will form the basis for the technical implementation of the process. Provided that the previous version of the process is present, the differences are analyzed and everything that has not been modified is fully reused. This is key to make change management efficient. Now we have two views of the same process. One is based on the EPC used by the business analyst and one based on the executable UML which is used by the IT specialist. The UML state chart is a read-only version of the EPC. It can be enhanced and enriched, but it cannot be changed without a re-import of the EPC. This is a governance policy which we use to enforce that the EPC stays the master. Instead of EPCs, you can also use BPMN for the process definition and import it the same way. But given the fact that EPCs are semantically much richer than BPMN, we find that users prefer EPCs in real-life projects. From now on, the work continues on the technical side to enrich and enhance the process core by linking existing services from the E2E Bridge repository or by creating new ones. This follows the standard model-driven integration process. A lot of information is available on this already, so I won't go into the details here and simply refer you to the material related to model-driven integration that's available on E2E's corporate website at e2ebridge.com. Once the enrichment is complete, we need to compile the entire model and deploy it onto the runtime, which is in fact a high-performance UML virtual machine. Again, this is the standard development process used when working with the E2E bridge. If that's successful, we can move on to use the process in production. 
In order to do that, we have created a simple front end for the user interactions. In this example, we're using Adobe Flex. The process execution leads us through all the steps as defined by the EPC, asking first to create a new credit request and then performing all the automated procedures. In the process model, we have built in timer delays so you can actually see the automated steps being performed. Given the credit request triggers a rule involving a management decision, we can switch to the approvers client, select the request from the inbox and complete the request by approving or rejecting it. At the beginning of the presentation, I promised that we will look at two concrete customer examples which are using the Aris Bridge integration in production today. The first example is from Interim Justitia, the European leader in credit management services. Interim has used the Aris Bridge integration to modernize a legacy PL SQL application called Recache. They have used Aris to model the complete process down to the level 6. Then they use the EPCs together with the source of the legacy application, which you see here, to recreate the entire application, including process execution, services, event handlers, and the data access layer in a collection of over 1,000 executable UML diagrams, which make up the new Recache application today, as shown here. In this slide, you see one of these diagrams. Using this approach, Intrum is on record today of having created the world's first enterprise application that is based exclusively on executable models. The entire project took nine months from start to go live. The results of this SOA enablement effort are quite spectacular and you see some of the benefits of the approach listed here. At the process level, Intrum achieved a six-fold increase in process performance, which is impressive in itself. In addition, the effort helped Intrum to completely align business and IT, providing a basis for ongoing process and application improvements that make the organization more agile overall. You can find a detailed discussion of the case on our website at e2ebridge.com.